what's up everybody and welcome back to the channel now hopefully you guys can hear me okay we're having all kinds of technical difficulties today uh, the tripod camera decided it's not gonna work <laughs> for whatever reason the mic decided it's not gonna work for whatever reason so we're gonna film off the iPhone with the airpods and then use the chest GoPro and we're actually on these so let's get into why we're here today so company called Hover One reached out to me not that long ago through Amazon about testing one of their electric scooters. And it was like they read my mind. Um, I've had this idea for a while to get an electric scooter and set it up for fishing. And what I mean by that is something real simple. Um, I want to put a camera mount on the handlebars and maybe a rod holder on the front there just to hold a single rod. And the reason I came up with this idea was because locations like this, at like the Salt River Dam and a couple other places I like to go, they're all paved and the different fishing spots are just really spread out and you have to walk to them. Um, for example, here, and I'll show you if on the camera at, a, at some point if I get a second to, um, down at the river, there you can fish all along both sides of the dam, but it's just a single paved walkway, like a sidewalk, to get all the way around the other side. And it's a lot to walk and a lot of locations are like that and i'd like to be able to just hop on the scooter and hop from spot to spot to spot to spot and what really intrigued me about this hover one model is it has a top speed of 16 miles an hour and a total capacity on one charge of nine miles which is more than i could use than i need and 16 miles an hour on a scooter is pretty fast i did get a demo run on this already um, i might add in a clip right here. Oh, oh, she gets moving. Y'all, this thing ain't no joke. That's only 11 miles an hour right there. 12. Yeah, I imagine. Probably could. I'm gonna bust my ass. On the demo road that I got, I got up to 15 miles, 14 or 15 miles an hour, I can't remember. I'm 6'1", 230 pounds. So that's fairly impressive. Even if it would have only got to 12 or 13 miles an hour, at a 16 mile an hour rating with a guy my size, that's pretty good. So what I really like about Hover One is they must have checked out the channel because they didn't just offer me the scooter, they offered me the hoverboard. Now, I have no interest in a hoverboard personally, but Kira has been wanting one for forever. And if she's gonna be with me and I'm gonna be spot hopping on the scooter, well, she needs a, a ride too, right? So she got a hoverboard. Now, Kira's never tried out the hoverboard. She's going to be playing around with that today while I'm giving you guys a demo of this beast over here. So we'll get some footage of her struggle on the struggle bus, I'm sure. But without further ado, let's just jump right into it. And hey, just real quick, if you guys end up liking today's video, please check out our channel page. We've got a lot of great content. There's something for everybody. While you're at it, smash that subscribe button and definitely like this video and drop some comments down below, especially if you've got a similar setup or experience with the Hover One products. I will put a link down below in the description to both of these products on Amazon. As always, that's an affiliate link and it really helps support this channel and helps us keep making great content. So let's hop on these things and go for a ride. <laughs> I think it's funny. It's slightly amusing. Wow. 90 miles an hour into the uh, 5 mile an hour boat area. That's nice. Now, I only ran it for a few minutes last time I was out here for the demo. And I haven't charged it. But it should be good to go. So it's already set to 3, which is the top speed setting.
We're at 12 miles an hour right now. Now coasting, it slows down pretty well on its own, but this electric brake works fantastically. It almost wants to pop the front wheel up when you first get going. So we're consistently hitting 12 across this parking lot. How you doing there, kid? Um, All right. Hey, I'm gonna do this circle. I'll be right here. Ran over that thing on purpose to see how it handle it. Not bad. Started at 12 going uphill. Dropped down to 11 and it's holding it. Not bad at all, not much of an incline, but pretty good. Cruise through this, do not enter. I can definitely see riding around on this thing. I'm going down to the water, see if the fish are biting. I'm curious to see how this will go back up the boat ramp, but I am not riding it down it. Anything biting? Yeah, they're always biting. My daughter's up there, so I can't. She wanted to try her hoverboard, so oh, yeah. I brought. We only live right down the street, but yeah. I figured I'd come down and see if anything was biting, and then see if the scooter can go back up the hill. All right, good luck, brother. Well, as you guys just saw on the camera, what it will do on a steep incline like that is wheelies. What it will not do is drive my fat ass up the hill. Coming in hot. Coming in hot. Nope. Just the gar per the huge. Here, I'll take you guys on a little tour where I can still see Kira. Whoa. It should be noted, I haven't been on a scooter, ow, in a very long time. I don't know why I said ow, that didn't hurt. So this is actually where we were just over a week ago when Kira had her emergency. This is where the ambulance met me right here. I can still see her. Much more still today than it was last week because they're not running water but this is what i was talking about this sidewalk runs all the way down and then up over the dam and then down this backside here and as you can imagine it's a long walk especially if you're constantly wanting to move spots but on the scooter ain't gonna be nothing let's cruise down. let's cruise back over where kira is Oop. Now, I use this for about, hopefully you can hear me over the wind noise. I use this for about 10 minutes the other day, last time I ran it, and haven't charged it. 
and not even one notch has come off the battery which is a really good sign since it's rated at nine miles it shouldn't be even close to dropping down but you know you always wonder when you see battery ratings on different products if they can actually deliver and did they rate it with somebody who's like four foot five and you know like 10 pounds like with somebody like kira ride it for nine miles and then they said oh it can go for nine miles you know or is it realistic for somebody like me and it, it seems to be quite a realistic rating Nope, you don't have to keep an eye on me. I'm watching me. Okay. You just do you. There you go. You're making your circles bigger. Where's the car? Where's the car? You're doing just fine. Where's the car? The car's behind you. You're doing just fine. You don't need the car. Twelve mile an hour seems to be the top speed of the day. Look at you. Huh? I said, look at you. You want to wear the camera for a few minutes? No. Okay. The other thing I wonder. If I were to build a cart out of PVC, I know you guys have seen a million of those beach carts, like a lightweight beach cart made out of PVC. I wonder if I could hook it to this and tow it, if that would work, if I kept the weight down. I doubt it, and it's definitely outside the scope of what this thing is built to do, but that might be a experimental DIY video for sure. Yeah. I can hear the thunder, kiddo. We're gonna have to wrap it up soon. Aww. You got you got time still. That's the one thing that I'm sad about that it's gonna rain and we can't stay out here for that long. Well, we've been out here for 30 minutes. Well, longer than that. I've got 30 minutes on my scooter according to the timer. I do want to go on the road out there like you did, but... Yeah, not yet. Yeah, not yet. Especially not with the way that truck was driving through here earlier. Yeah. Alright, y'all. So this is obviously a very basic review video. I haven't decked it out for fishing yet and I haven't shown it to you in action where I gear up and actually go hop some spots. We're gonna do that pretty soon though. Kira goes back to school next week, which means I'm gonna be doing a lot more solo fishing and solo outings while she's in school. And that really opens up like a whole nother world for me because there's places that like I can't take or things that I can't do. Like right now I can't hop on a scooter and hop different spots with her because she hasn't learned the hoverboard yet and can't really keep up and obviously it's not safe to leave her behind so you're gonna see a lot more of this scooter I want to do this video mainly to get to show it to you and to give a big shout out to hover one for hooking us up with this I wouldn't tell you a product was good if it wasn't whether I get it for free or not and I don't show you guys anything that I use that I don't truly believe in whether I paid for it whether I got it for free it doesn't matter I only show you what I believe in and I've got some other really exciting par products coming up and a new channel sponsor that I'm super super excited will be showing you real soon so stay tuned and like I said you can find links to both of these down below huge shout out to hover one for supporting the channel I really do appreciate that so if you guys end up wanting to check these out and buy them, hey, that just supports the channel, and I bet Hover One would appreciate it. As always, don't forget to subscribe. We'll catch you on the next video.
Peace. Well, we hoped you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more great videos from the Penguin Outdoors YouTube channel, don't forget to click subscribe. And while you're at it, hit that little bell so you get notified when new content is available. Please leave us a comment down below and let us know what you thought. And don't forget to hit that like button. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.